All right, welcome to the conversation. We're gonna have a doozy one uh, for you today. Uh, at least I suspect so. We have a conservative talk show host on, and we certainly do not agree on the topics. Let's see if we can sort them out. Josh Bernstein is gonna join us. Uh, he is the host of Josh Bernstein Uncensored.com. That's partly because he was uh, censored in other places. Josh, welcome. Great to be on the program with you. Uh, no problem. So we're gonna talk about the elections, we're gonna talk about COVID. Uh, but while we were uh, getting ready to go on air, you mentioned you were uh, banned from YouTube, uh, your channel was. Yes. Uh, out of curiosity, why? Well, I was banned from uh, YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Roku television. And I was uh, shunned from Amazon and all kinds of different things, Patreon among those. And basically because I was showing a video of Russell Ramsland and allied security and showing votes being switched live on CNN at the time. And this was the Andy Brashear and Matt Bevin race in Kentucky for the governorship. And so I was showing that information and from there I was banned, I was given a strike. And then from that, there was also the James O'Keefe investigation, good friend of mine who was talking about the ballot harvesting operation in in Minnesota. And I was showing that, it was a 24 minute video. And some of the people on the left that like to attack me, Right Wing Watch in particular, they cut that video down to 24 seconds or 41 seconds, I think it was. And they said that I wanted to you know, take out a Congresswoman, which of course was not the case. What I did was I laid out all of the crimes that I believed that she was guilty of and then I said she should be arrested. And if convicted, she should be thrown in prison or worse executed. So of course the left completely went with the last line, which was Josh Bernstein calls for the execution of Congresswoman Ilhan Nuor Saeed Elmi, her real name. And so then from there I but was Josh. pretty much removed from all of social media. Okay, I get it, you, you wanted the full context. Uh, I have had the media not give the full context of things that I have done. Uh, but sure. it does sound like you called for her execution. Do you no, regret I didn't. that? What I did, what's that? Uh, did you or did you not? Let's, let's start with that. I did not, I said she should be arrested, she should be tried, she should be arrested, she should be convicted. And if convicted, she should go to jail or worse executed. There's a big difference between saying, that you know, we want to do this or we want to do that or cause harm to someone. Obviously, I would have had a knock at the door. That was not the case. And uh, again, like I said, it Josh. was taken completely out of context. Okay, I, I get it. And you gave the context here. It's still awful. Uh, and do you get that people think Perhaps. that's cuckoo for cocoa puffs? Like, that if I, I I despise Donald Trump, I would never call for his execution. That's totally nuts. Don't you think that's nuts? Do I think calling, yeah, causing, calling for violence against anyone without any, uh, you know, any reason for that, just because you dislike them, is certainly not a good thing. But again, I what I said was I believe that she was guilty of marriage fraud. I believe she was guilty of and immigration that she get fraud. I was for believed that? that she was guilty of lying on her N four hundred forms. I believed that her father, Muhammad Nuar, who was the propaganda minister. For the former dictator in Somalia, Saeed Bayar, was lying on his N400 forms when he said that he was not a member of an authoritarian regime. Now, the true story on Ilhan is the fact that no, she didn't no. escape war torn Somalia. She was war torn Somalia. Her father no, was the propaganda minister for the former dictator, Saeed Bayar. Okay, so Josh, her story was nonsense. that she had to leave okay. Somalia. Okay, so I get it, you're trying to, to reiterate the live. things that make no sense and have been debunked a thousand times, which is par for the course. No, but not. you think that she should have been executed for, in your version of the story, for lying on forms? No, not for lying on forms, for working with Cutter, for working with our enemies, for calling for you know violence against Jews, for supporting <laughs> many regimes. Do you think Mar- that Marjorie are Taylor Greene should anti-Semitic? be executed? She said that uh, Jews have. Marjorie Taylor Greene said, said Jews have space lasers that they start fires with. Do you think she should be executed for that? No, of course not. I believe in freedom of speech, but apparently big tech does not. But okay, so you believe in freedom of speech for Marjorie Taylor Greene, but not for Ilhan Omar? Well, I think with. 
what Ilhan Omar was saying was what she said about 9-11, number one. She said that some people did something. Number two, we could certainly chalk up the fact that she is close to our enemies. She's she not is close to our enemies, she's a United States she Congresswoman. Huh? She's a United States the Congresswoman, program. Josh. She is not at all close so to I think our enemies. I think that is nonsense. She is a terrorist. I will say that. Okay, you're insane. All right. Um, okay, so that's fine. Uh, so obviously, we just, to say we disagree on that is a gross understatement. We can we we can agree to disagree on that one, Jack. Yes. Uh, well, okay. I mean, look, it's easy. I can call your guys terrorists too. Okay. Uh, so uh, Donald Trump supported the crown prince of Saudi Arabia after he dismembered a Washington Post columnist. So that is, it, it doesn't get any more terrorist than chopping up and dismembering and beheading someone. And Donald Trump supported that. So okay, Donald Trump's a terrorist. Are we even? Are we even? Look, I, look. The bottom line is there's a lot of terrorists all over the world. Uh, I don't support Saudi Arabia. I certainly don't support. All, almost all Republicans um, do. Well, you know what? Then there's there's one way that uh, that we obviously disagree. I believe in nationalism, not national socialists or anything you know right you know extremist like Mussolini. But I believe in you should love your country. You should be a nationalist for your country. And you don't have to be the policeman of the world, and you should worry about what's going on in your country before others. Well, so I don't believe in nation building. We may agree on that, possibly. Yeah, no, I, I don't. Uh, I don't want to invade other countries either. So apparently, we have a Fair some enough. agreement we there. Found something we agree on. Okay, good. Uh, okay, everything else you've said, I do not agree with at all. So that, now let's move to the elections. Um, so yes. Josh, I'm always curious about this, and that's why we have these interviews because I'm trying to understand sure. how you guys think. Um, so, you know, you're, the things you said about Ilhan Omar, I get it. I, uh, they're all wrong. I know exactly where they come from. I know why it, it, you guys say what you say, etc. The elections, I'm, I don't fully know why you say what you say. So, um, he, he, Trump and his allies lost 60 court cases in a row, including with. Very conservative judges, including with Trump appointed judges. And they all universally said, you have no evidence at all and, and, and laughed them out of court. So I'm curious why you think all of those courts and all of those judges, including majority conservatives, including Trump appointed judges, are all wrong. Well, first and foremost, none of those judges did anything. They never looked at any of the evidence, okay? That's not true. They just shot it down on standing, okay? That's number one. That's and not the true. two judges that did look at it, by the way, allowed forensic audits to actually be done, Antrim County and of course, Maricopa County, Arizona. But you have to ask yourself this question. If you believe that this person was you know, elected fairly, you have to say to yourself that I believe that a 79 year old white person with dementia, who has a history of hating black people, by the way, let's cover that part of it so as we're talking well. About Trump now? Actually beat the first black president in predominantly minority communities of Wayne County, Clark County, Maricopa County, Fulton County, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I'm sure I'm missing a few others, had more votes, hang on, had more votes in those areas than the first black president, but yet lost every single other county that Hillary Clinton won. You'd have to say to yourself, how does someone that hid out in their basement, that did no campaigning whatsoever, and anytime he did come out, there was no one there to support him. And more importantly, it was word salad when he opened his mouth, kind of like the way it is right now. And you'd have to say that that person got 81 million votes, really? Yes. I don't think so, okay? Yeah. Well, we know okay. the truth. The truth is that President Trump won this election on election night, 425 electoral votes to 110. It was an absolute okay. blowout. So let but yet, <laughs> when everyone stops counting and stops voting all at the same time, and everybody was in on it, and even the Time Magazine article, which basically admitted that they stole the election. But remember, this was not just Democrats. This could never have been pulled off without the establishment rhino Republicans in Washington and around the country, as well as paid off or scared judges. 
Bottom line is they didn't take the cases, they dismissed them on standing it's because they were afraid of riots so and many Josh, other things. So, so, so we're gonna get to okay. the bottom of it and we're gonna yeah. continue to push to overturn yeah. this election. Good, good news, I already got to the bottom of it, Joe Biden's president. Um, okay, yeah. so- The uh, pretendency, the Biden it, pretendency sure. as it's called. Josh, listen, so first of all, uh, this, all 60 cases were not decided on standing. That is just flat out false. Uh, the Supreme they Court They wouldn't allow one, the evidence to be Hold heard. on, hold on. Supreme Court one was decided on standing. Uh, let's also note for the record, the Supreme Court often decides on standing when they don't want to actually take the case. The reason they didn't want to take the case is because Trump had no evidence. And three of them were put on he there by Trump and of six evidence. of them were conservative. And they still think Trump didn't win because he had no evidence. But even if you grant the Supreme Court, hold on, let me finish. Thousands I let you spew of lies for dangerous. like, I let you Jink. spew lies, let me uh, re retort now yeah. with actual truth and facts. So, um, but even if you grant the Supreme Court one, the 59 others were not decided on standing. And, and Josh, did you read any of those cases? Because the judges were super clear, I read them. They said, are, in one of the cases they asked Giuliani, are you uh, presenting evidence of fraud? Because I don't, we're, we're not seeing any evidence that you submitted a fraud. And Giuliani said, no, this is not a fraud case, we have no fraud evidence. Okay, so did you read that one? And do you still think that Giuliani secretly has evidence of fraud? Do you think that Trump had evidence of fraud and question. didn't share it with the courts? Let me ask you a question. Do you believe in fractional voting, yes or no? Where did we go? Do to you that? believe in fractional voting? What, yes or what no? do you mean? What, what's, what, are you, what are you driving at? I'm asking you a question. Do you believe in fractional voting? Because it is absolute 100% proof that there was fractions of votes in these machines, okay? No. Now I'll tell you how they stole it's, the election. You have no very, evidence very of that, Josh. Two you ways guys they stole keep the election. That. Number one, and you presented US zero US evidence in Number court. Number two, Josh, can I ask rate. you this? Hold on, before you spew more lies. Look. You guys keep making up new claims, new claims, new claims. And by the way, it's during the hold claim, on, hold on, fact. hold on. Let me ask the question. And fact. then during the court, when the, when you had the sixty court cases, at that time there was all this talk of releasing the Kraken, and as Trump was saying, massive dumps of of evidence, etc., and all these different conspiracy theories. And Hugo Chavez manipulated the evidence, so did Italy, etc. Now, but when you went to court, none of you had. Any evidence? Does we that not give you pause? Go through the evidence. What's okay? that? They didn't allow us to present the evidence. That's because just if they not did, true. They would have did to. Did you read any of the court cases of President Trump? Did you read okay? any of the decisions? I have read quite a few of the decisions, you especially the ones in <laughs> Wisconsin, which is an absolute joke because there's no such thing as 200 indefinitely confined voters. It doesn't exist. There was pictures of DNC operators that were saying that they were indefinitely confirmed out there canvassing, walking around on their bicycles, jogging through the park. They were perfectly fine. An indefinitely confined voter, I'm sure you know what that is, is someone that is invalid, someone that perhaps may be terminally ill, someone that may be someone in a wheelchair, whatever. There are exceptions for those folks. There's not 200,000 of them when they average 25 to 50. So what did they do? They shopped it to a left wing judge who said, well, because of quote unquote, the coronavirus, everybody's an indefinitely confined voter. So yes, here you go. Here's your decision to go steal the election. Wait, not Josh, to mention get it? Book VAR and the rest of these idiots they're not, that they're not, literally Josh, changed election if, laws that were unconstitutional, by the way, and didn't have the plenary power to do so in the Constitution. Okay, you so guys, look, you can how say long, that it wasn't so a Josh, stolen election all you want. There's tons of evidence Josh, to prove otherwise, look, you, you and can, that's why the left is fighting so hard against the Maricopa County audit. But the good news is, you can't stop these audits. You know why? Because you don't have the plenary power in the Constitution from the federal government. Who created the federal government? The state governments. Okay. And the states have Again, the rights you, over the you federal government. You don't know a thing about the Constitution. Clear as day. Do you? Are you one of? The, okay, there's so many weird and wrong things you've said, it's hard to keep track. And you guys keep digging up this new horse crap invented stuff. When you had your chance in court, you were humiliated because you're all lying. And every judge said you were lying. Every judge said there was no evidence at all. Every judge so, didn't give but us you the keep opportunity coming, to You keep lying to your audience and riling them up as if the election was stolen. Okay, and so I'm tired of, of your lies. And are I thought like lying? maybe there was like no, some no, 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 shred of Answer like that question. maybe if you think These this or that, but no, you just deny reality. If they're lying, 
So you're gonna tell me that they're lying on their affidavits, risking penalty of perjury Who? to go to prison, seriously? Who? You're gonna sit here and tell me that? Who? I didn't hear you, Who? who's lying? Hundreds. Of upon hundreds of signed affidavits in the swing states, yeah, under penalty of perjury. So you're saying that they're lying and willing to go to prison to lie. Conservatives, because Republicans, they're that they made it up and there's not really voter fraud that they hundred percent. So Josh, let me explain a couple of things. Republicans like you are now lying on a mass scale. All the time, what nonstop. I mean, a majority of Republicans think that Joe Biden was responsible for the Capitol riots. You guys have lost your minds. Do I think there was hundreds of Republicans who lied on their affidavits? Absolutely. And by the way, oh the, all God. those affidavits were looked at, and there was still no evidence of fraud. And so when you say, you, you make it sound not, like, oh, are you saying, or, and by the way, Josh, because hundreds, if a judge even if it was, hold on, Josh, we gotta evidence, go one at a time. The reason people cut your mic is because you refuse to go Trump. one at a time. Okay, so hold on, we go one at a time. That's otherwise we gotta cut your mic. There's no filibustering. We gotta go back no, and forth. Okay. Mics, okay, I don't so, cut your mic, you don't cut mine. Okay, so let us go back and forth one at a time. So Josh, even if there was true that you had hundreds of affidavits signed throughout all those different states, Biden won by tens of thousands of votes. You guys are <laughs> hanging on to the thinnest of straws on total absurdity. Oh, and no one me. has ever wow. validated those affidavits. And so you guys are making up new and new things. And then one of the things you said I want to go back to, because you said the judges were intimidated. I'm seeing that a lot from the right wing now. So what is this conspiracy theory about how the conservative Trump appointed judges were intimidated? Intimidated by who? Intimidated by the radical extremist Antifa folks and BLM thugs oh, that oh. are out there burning down every single yeah, city oh. and looting and stealing and murdering people on a daily basis. You don't think that some of that eventually is going to scare some people? That's exactly why they were doing it. They said, "Oh, if we God forbid take these cases, then all hell will break loose and the left will obviously enact all of the different people out there and kind of get them going in all the different cities." And even Judge uh, what's his name, Roberts, who I've called the deep state's grandfather because that's who he is because nothing goes past him because he's the one that appoints every single judge to the FISA court, but that's a story for another day. Even he was afraid to take the cases because he was afraid of turmoil outside, you know, in the big city streets. But you have to ask yourself this question, okay? How many counties did Trump win? I don't remember. Not enough. That's the correct answer. 2020, isn't that interesting? Okay? Those counties that he won. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. I want to get that right. With huge margins. Wait, okay, wait, hold on. Biden didn't win pretty much any counties at all, except for the ones that are all being contested. Now, how is that? And how <laughs> does a 79 year old with stage three dementia, my father died of you it, mean so Trump? I know the, the warning signs. You mean Trump? How does he beat the first black president in Clark County, Maricopa County, Milwaukee, yeah, super Baltimore easy. County, uh, Pennsylvania, and Pittsburgh? Answer that question. Okay, easy. Um, because everybody in the country on the Democratic side and independents hates Donald Trump. They all showed Not up to true. vote because he's deeply racist and we despise that fool of a man. He's incompetent, he's he got racist. a bunch of, hold on one at a time, you ask me a question, okay. I'm answering. Okay. He got nearly 600,000 people killed in COVID due to his grotesque incompetence. He's deeply racist, he's a con man who tried to rob us blind. He loves corruption, we hate the guy. That's why we were all motivated to go and vote against him. You think people are excited about Joe Biden? Maybe Doesn't some older Democrats. But progressives are not excited about Joe Biden at all. You gotta let president. me finish, okay? brother. You were just hold on. And he's okay? not a racist, and if we had more time, I'd be able to refute that. Oh no, that. poor but Trump. Hey, no, of course. I give not. you a lot of credit for stepping up to me and getting into the cage with me. Most people are too afraid to. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> and Josh, you said that debates. Biden didn't win never as many has, counties. Never hold, will. Hold that. You want okay, me back? Thank any you. Any topic, any time. You got it. Okay, so Josh, you said Biden didn't win as many counties. You 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 know that uh, the bigger cities have tons. We didn't of even people. talk about COVID. Okay, all right, we're almost out of time. All right, Josh, you I don't, don't want to go I, another five ten minutes. No, no, we we got three minutes or low. So okay, you oh, want right, to jump into COVID? Let's go in the cage. What are your thoughts one. on COVID? Okay, uh, I think it's a real disease. I believe doctors and scientists counterpoint. 
Do oh, you not believe doctors and scientists? They're simple. all making it up. As of right now, today, there are 158,836,917 Americans who have been fully vaccinated. That is literally 48.4% of true. the population. Now, I want to ask you a question, okay? What if Dr. Falsey, the satanic garden gnome, as I like to call him on my show, is wrong? What if all of his models are wrong? What if the medical community and the doctors are all wrong, okay? But I am right, and many other Americans out there that refuse to take this you know, chemo shot for all intents and purposes. What if we're right and they're wrong? You know what that means? That means that we have now committed American genocide. And that is sick and that is sad. And if you look at the VAERS, which by the way is severely, and I mean severely underreported because it is not a requirement by doctors and hospitals and clinicians and emergency rooms to go to VAERS and put up the information and update the information on whether or not someone has an adverse condition or a death. So they report again, voluntary, 100% voluntary, 9,535 deaths, okay? okay? There's over 417,000 adverse conditions. If 1 million, I'm sorry, if 158 million people have taken the jab and 9,538 voluntarily have told that people they know have died, then it's probably a hundred times higher than that because there was an investigation by the United States Department of Health and Human Services that discovered that VAERS and the reporting percentage is closer to 1%. Okay, all nonsense. So uh, I don't wanna so see Josh, Americans you're talking die. about a theoretical uh, genocide if you somehow magically know better than 99% of the world's scientists. When in reality, over 600,000 people have already died in America, over 4 million have already died across the world because you are wrong and the scientists are correct. But what if so let me ask CDC you one last and counter the question and then we gotta wrong. wrap. That's let me question. ask you one more counter question and then we gotta wrap. Okay, if 99% of the world's scientists tell me that gravity is real and I should not step off that building and Josh Bernstein tells me it isn't, who do you think I'm going to listen to? Okay, that that's obviously a ridiculous, uh, you know, uh, what do you, what do you call it? Um, example. Mm. Bottom line is this: No, both examples faith? involve no, me losing my Why life. Why would you give blind faith to the Wuhan Health Organization that covered for China? Okay, I don't give them. Why blind would faith. you give blind faith? To the don't. Center for Disinformation Control that has been wrong and has been underreporting the true uh, amounts on their I, own website. I don't website. trust China at all. And in their here's report. bears doing the same thing. I don't. I don't trust the government. The government wants to come and and put you know vaccines in people door to door. Yeah. You know we're big big fans of the Second Amendment in this country. See and there you go again. No, I'm cutting it. Guns. No, 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 no. Cut his mic. No, I'm not gonna let you talk about second amendment and killing people that are coming to your door. He just said the second amendment regarding doctors or scientists that would come to your door. That's lunatic stuff, man. Guys, if you're a right winger out there and you believe this kooky stuff, okay, that's it's a free country. You you believe whatever you like, okay? I, I'm t and if you, like Josh asked, and we were having a, a ridiculous conversation, but one that did not create any problems until he said that, right? And we're out of time now anyway. but. And I hate that that happened at the end there. But but guys, if to answer Josh's question, 99% of the world scientists believe uh, the coronavirus is real and the vaccine helps you avoid it. 99% of the world scientists believe in climate change and 99% of the world scientists believe in gravity. If you're telling me, no, I shouldn't believe all the people that have studied that for their whole lives in India, China, America, Russia, Brazil, all those people, I shouldn't believe this and I should believe a crackpot on, on line like Josh or or if you're in that category, you, you're nuts, I'm not gonna believe that. But I can live with that and I let Josh say all that stuff because I wanna find out what you guys think. But at the end, you start talking about second amendment remedies, that is a call for gun violence and I'm not gonna stand for it. And by the way, if you shoot somebody that comes to your door from the government, you are a murderer and you will face trial and, and, and you should. Don't give me this nonsense, you got second amendment rights? To protect yourself if in your home, to hunt, do all that stuff. You don't have Second Amendment rights to murder anyone, including government officials. So I'm not gonna let that stuff go on on our air. All right, I hate that it ended that way. Otherwise, it was an interesting conversation about the mindset 
of the right wing, which we want to find out more about here. All right, we're done. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.